See, baby, I got everything. Make sheets, make coats, make curtains in the window. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink car. Now, who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. Nah, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me, to work with, to work for. A guy like Jizzy B? Well, well, now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Cause you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. Mm, mm, mm. See, I only got two eyes and in these streets you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. My fucker killed two last week. I want you to go find out. No problem. You're my player partner now, Jizzy. Wait up! Mr. C to the J! See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. Boy, what a strong bitch, oh. Ever had half and half with a social like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your Ruka won't. I'm listening, honest. I'm no slug, but I need the feria. Uh-huh, real interesting. Whatever, puto. Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Church, got a little errand for you to run before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hatchback. Now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretend. my player now you in real trouble Man, I ain't got time for you <laughs> hey it's CJ just to let you know you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury where did I say I was worried no I did not now to the real deal some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over I want you to get your ass up there and nose around. Find out what's going on. 
What I want to do, sugar? I must get to my destination. Beat you. Mr. Jizzy, it's CJ. You the bad luck charm, Flunky. That girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take her off the streets. Nobody turns my hoe. You get your ass back to the hotel and you make an example out of all of them. What happens? Funkles. It's the show that making hilarious cop I group beast. What's the problem? It's me. Tomorrow I will dream in green, yellow oceans and froth on the beach. It's me. I'm an individual. It is love. It's me. Beauty. Meaning. Oh, that's I need design a perfume. It's me. Shine. Buy Helmet Shine. Helmet Shine is a fantasy. Helmet Shine is a spectacle. Helmet Shine is you. Is you. If you desire. What is love? The space between your ears. Me. Advertising. People on beaches. Shine. Tomorrow, I'm the white man. I'm doing black and white. Shine. Oh, Mystic Fury. It's me. You're beautiful. That's enough. Shine. Buy Helmet Shine. Right away, your evangelical holiness. Wrestling title. What about nuts? You'll love the nuts. Which side will you try first? Whoa! What the fuck? Satisfies your exotic cravings, whatever they are. Put it in your mouth. Carriers. They say living in Los Santos is the equivalent of smoking a pack a day. If that's the case, then I want a choice in the matter. So I chose Redwood. I used to sell my body for drug Now I cleaned up and have a wife and go to church. And I owe it all. Everything's been taken care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, CJ, you used to play his right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the APB. Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. Backing down, bitch. Hey, what's up? Hey, Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, if you got some time, I'd like for you to come over so we can talk about something. Yeah, for sure. Where you at? I own a little betting shop in Chinatown. Just come around and uh, introduce yourself. My people will be expecting a visit. It's a plan, man. Later. Hello, miss. You're not a cop, are you? The spirits are gone. Is there a bank? Hey, Caesar. The Yay leaving San Fierro, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Don't try to be no hero. Hey, 
Your mama must be proud of your driving, fool. Easy, man. I'm here to see Woozy. Oh. Uh, upstairs. Stupid ass motherfucker. Come on, come on, Stone. Stone. Come ah. on, go, go, go. Come on, you can do it. I'm Johnson. I'm here to see Woozy. I Bird work Stone, with him. Yes, right this way. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Curse? Nah. He's blind. Blind? But we was just racing cars last week. Yes, I know. He's blessed with unbelievable good fortune. And the triad that would do anything for him? We call him our lucky mole. I... I keep that in mind. Good. Woozy! Hello, Carl. Hey, what's happening, Woozy? You know, how you doing? Straight to the facts. I can't use your help unless I'm open with you about who I am and what I do. Let me reintroduce myself. I am the boss of the Mountain Plowboys. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Why don't you sit down? As Dai Dai Lo of the Triad, it is my responsibility to see that disputes are settled without uh, damaging important business. Where I come in at? We shall see. I'm about to drop in on a local triad that failed to show face at the last Tong meeting. Come with me, and you'll see how we triad settle things without recourse to unnecessary violence. All right, I'll ride with you. We'll need a ride. Mine's getting some body work done to it. All right, don't trip. Chops. Fine. Be like that. The Blood Feather Triad have a storehouse around the block. We shall see what excuses they have to offer. Okay, so what's all this talk of business? Some small-time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. We're not sure why they're gaining any courage now, but I'm nervous about the situation. How do I fit in all of this? You're an outsider. Man, get to step. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Personally, I find out we land on your head. Now, where's that loose cobble? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just uh, uh, checking the, uh, you know, just shut up, Carl. In this way. You got brain freeze or something? Yeah, well, Hey, what's with all these people? Where are they going? Something isn't right here. We should be careful. Follow me. Boa! Manners? What's wrong? You lost? You need a hand? No, no. I was just, you know, getting the feel of the place. Stick close. Ah, we're here. This way. Strange, this gate is usually locked. Stick close. Oh, man. Woozy. What's got you so spooked? Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you lying down there. He's dead. They all are. The blood feathers wiped out? Die, die low. Uh, forgive me. I was too scared to fight, so I hid. Enough. What happened here? Vietnamese surprised us. Cut us all down. Shit! Here they come again! You 
lines, the triads must have vengeance. What did you expect? Some mirror. Some cover. Keep them busy. You will wander as ghosts. Bullet. CJ, take out that sniper. You want to hold me? Lost the wheel to this hot laden shit in the car, quick. We got more company. You drive, I'll send them back to the sewers. Thank you, Carl. You saved me from having to kill them all myself. Okay, let's get back to my place. Here, the token of the Tog's appreciation for what you did today. Hey, Woozy, my man. What's going down? Hey, CJ. Let me introduce you to Shuk Fu, Ram Fa Lee. He heads the Red Gecko Tongue on the West Coast. How you doing? Yeah. Mm. Ah Ah Kung has sent word from Kowloon. A Vietnamese crime family, the Da Nang Boys, are preparing to move to the United States. This may explain the cowardly attack on the Blood Feather Triad. Mm. There may be some trouble ahead. The Shifu would like a package retrieved. 
A courier has left it in a drop at the airport. It is most important to the matter at hand. Oh, I can do that. Hmm? Huh. <laughs> he is Triad? A mountain boy? No, a personal friend of mine. And less likely to draw the attention of the Danang boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Sometimes the law is not enough. Did you file the subpoena in the McPherson case? No, it wasn't urgent. No, I filed. Sit there all day. The day of liberation is here. Throughout history, only the biggest and strongest survive. Being big means you're successful, and women love big men. You won't get far! As a successful man, you need to feel comfortable when you're sitting down to eat. Close for the bigger man. Don't be bound by society, bogus medicine, and the media with their unhealthy focus on being skinny. Don't be constrained by trying to squeeze into a triple X. Bored of feeling like a man in a sausage skin in your size 48 jeans? Bored of being uncomfortable? Kilimanjaro, the clothes shop for enormous men. We're fighting to end hunger. Yours. child was the most miraculous thing I've ever experienced. When Ken and I left the hospital, I was glowing. But after a few months, the novelty wore off. The screaming, the diapers, blah. Let's face it, nobody has time to raise a kid. I realized after my third child, I hated kids. It's not like you can legally kill them anymore. We're at our wit's end. I'm miserable. Raising children has cut into my life with doing a job, taking exercise classes, and sleeping with my husband's friends. What do I do? You need a nanny. All parents need a helping hand now and then, sometimes full time. At Hampshire Nannies Limited, all of our nannies are trained by professionals in England. Your little darlings are our priority. If they act up, they'll be punished properly. None of this time out or go sit in the corner business. We'll bring your children up in the classic English manner by making them learn Latin and beating them half to death in a single sex environment. Discipline gave us an empire. What's more important, your happiness or your children's future? Call Hampshire nannies today. Say it with me. I need a nanny. I'll bang the nanny. That's right, you need a nanny. Hampshire nannies. Hi, what are you afraid of? Heights? Flying? Polio? Whatever your fear, it's time to... I don't want to anymore. Incredible! But, you know, it works. That's inversion therapy. Fear it, face it, do it, conquer it! Got it? 
listen again. Yeah, okay. I was terrified of my children being harmed, so I stabbed them. Didn't hurt me that much. Yeah, now I'm not afraid of anything. That's another life saved! <laughs> Inversion therapy works! I know. When you take your fear head on, then it's time to move on. I'm Darius Fontaine. Call me today. I'll change your life. Promise. Call 1-866-FACE-FEAR. Now just listen to me, okay? Now it's very important that you listen to me. I ain't no weak child, amigo. What you think? What, what, what you and Mike think? I'm just a pretty face to y'all? Is that y'all game? Now this here is the dumb muscle that I was talking about. Carl T-Bone, and in reverse. Sup, Oralis. Don't mind him, uh, we go way back. Hey, Holmes, don't be such a beachy liability. Liability? Liability for what? Now there's three of us and I'm getting 20%. What type of math is that? That's fool's math, player. You and man. I sell my soul to you guys. And that's what it's gonna come down to, huh? Screwing me out of my 13%? You knew the deal. You agreed. Besides, we could have said 5%. And what would and, you And mean? what, what, what? Cat got your tongue? You as bad at talking as he is at mathematics? Hey, you want to make this shit personal, I say? Hello? Yeah. What? Man. Damn. Hey, man, I got to bounce. Oh, no, you don't. I invented that trick, baby. Carl, <laughs> come with me. We're going to have to bust us a couple of melons up in here. What do you mean the shit has been ambushed? We can't just go out there, T-Bone. It could be a DEA trap. I really enjoy drinking soda with a straw, but I want one in metal that won't corrode. Yo, check this out. Here's a silver one. Wow, a silver straw. Where'd you get that? At Vlado's, Chula. Vlado's has all kinds of helpful accessories. Need to wake up oregano in the kitchen? Check out our oregano grinders. Vlado's, we make daily habits you be fun. Drunk. Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a real dinosaur? Of course you have. And you never will. Fact. That's because they never existed, and science, science, is a lie. I mean, have you actually ever seen a sperm? We've all tried. All you have to do is read and understand the Epsilon track, and the secrets of the universe will open to you. This is a life-altering experience. All your mortal fears will be at ease. The Epsilon program. This time around, it's personal. If only the world was less like this. I could use a smoke. Hey, put that out! And more like this. I could use a smoke. You murderer! I might have children one day! Smoking kills, unless you kill first. If you're around a smoker, you will die. Smokers may look relaxed and like they're having fun. Don't believe it. Vote yes on Proposition 421. Let's outlaw smoking everywhere, even in people's homes, and allow honest citizens to smokes. Let's live in a world without smokers. Prohibition works. Let's prove it. Let's move up the food chain. It's time to smoke the smokers. Vote. Hello? Hi, is Mark there? Yeah. It's me, Shannon. We met at Jack's party. Yeah, how can I forget? Wow, how are you doing? I haven't heard from you in, uh... Nine months? to make a change. Center will help you discover life while you still can. Come with your wife, 
leave with a sports car. While you've made a success of yourself, her chest has gone south. How can you have that trollop on your arm for a second longer? The answer is you can't. Ignore your children. Take yourself seriously. Visit the Midlife Crisis Center today. Come on, that man. You work think of you more as a teddy bear than a tiger. Do you whack off in your minivan while listening to teen pop? You know, you'll be dead soon. You've missed out on so much. It's not too late to make a change. At the Midlife Crisis Center, we know you've made a success of yourself. Why are you sharing it with others? Why not enjoy it while you have a chance? What's holding you back? Cowardice. We'll get you to the other side of your despair. We specialize in real estate, divorce attorneys, mistress placement, plastic surgery, hair coloring and replacement, male fur coats, and much more. With a designer clothing store and sports car dealership on site, the Midlife Crisis Center will help you discover life while you still can. Come with your wife, leave with a sports car. While you've made a success of yourself, your chest has gone south. How can you have... Not on the Yourself seriously. Visit the Midlife Crisis Center today. Notice the traffic just keeps getting worse. Is your commute taking longer and longer because of traffic jams? It's not your fault. It's someone else's. Tired of watching people on the bus earn special privileges by traveling in a bus-only lane? You can vote to change the future of traffic in San Andreas. Vote yes on Proposition 602 by opening up the bus lanes and paying over train routes to fly across town. Catalina, is that you again? Hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission. Deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure. Whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon.
T-Bone, pump your brakes, baby. Take a chill pill and just lay back and let the red mist fall, brother. Hey, Holmes, open your eyes, dog. Can't you see we're getting messed with here, Holmes? Hey, partner, T-Bone, look, it's Carl. Now, he's a real hero out there. Sad. See? We still good. What, are you vato stupid? Someone's on to us. We need to go back and rethink. I think they was just trying their luck. Mike. Mike. I've been trying to contact you. What? Oh, man. Who are you? Okay. Just keep talking. Hey, Holmes, Mike's in trouble. Let's bounce. What trouble? Who was Mike? Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van, and Mike's still in the back. Well, what are we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna know where he's he is? He's got his phone. He's gonna talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we gotta bounce. All right, let's jet. Gotta make this quick. Mike doesn't got much time on his battery left. He says he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Seagulls? Shit, that could be anywhere in this town. He can hear heavy machinery. Seagulls and heavy machinery? What is that, a building site or landfill or something? There's a building site in Doherty. Hey, just hang in there, Mike. Help is on the way. truck reversing. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. Freight? Oh, they must be down at the docks. Get to the docks in Easter Basin. <laughs> hey, we'll be there in a minute, Mike. <laughs> Batteries running low. <laughs> Shit, he says they stopped, then he heard gunfire. He thinks they just shot their way through a security gate. They don't have heavy security at the docks, but they do at the airport's freight depot. To the airport, rapido. <laughs> Mike and their aircraft taking off and landing. Don't worry, Mike, we're nearly there. There's the gate. And some dead security guards. Hey, this is the place. Keep your eyes peeled for that van. Okay, the tag should work now, Holmes. Tag? What the hell is a tag? After that last bit of trouble, Mike hid the transponder in the white. We was gonna follow it to the gang, but something must have fucked up. And now we gotta use it to find the van and rescue Mike. Oh, how it works? Simple. Closer we get, the stronger the signal. 